Under extreme pressure deep within the planet, long before any surface stone ever formed, dense mantle-derived material crystallized slowly, trapping chemistry that would later become impossible to ignore. What appears rough, heavy, and uninviting on the surface is often the first clue that something far more valuable is locked inside. This is where the process begins, with stones most people dismiss immediately, never realizing that rejection is often the first filter that hides real geological value. Peridotite forms far below the crust, rich in magnesium and iron, born in conditions where carbon stability becomes possible. Its surface is dull, sometimes greasy looking, fractured and dark, giving no visual reward to the casual observer. Yet within its structure, pressure pathways allow carbon atoms to lock into crystal lattices. This is how diamonds survive transport upward without burning away. The discovery signal is never sparkle. It is density, magnetic response, chemical imbalance, and the presence of mantle minerals that do not belong at the surface. When experienced eyes encounter this stone, the focus is not on beauty, but on weight, fracture behavior, and mineral associations. Where peridotite exists, diamond stability once existed as well. The value does not announce itself immediately. Diamonds form only when carbon remains stable under immense pressure and is protected during ascent. Peridotite acts as the armored carrier. Along these same pathways, chromium-rich fluids interact with aluminum-bearing zones, allowing emerald-forming barrel chemistry to occur nearby under the right conditions. This connection between deep mantle rock and gemstone formation is subtle, but it is real. Pricing follows rarity and survival. Diamonds transported intact are valued exponentially higher than surface-formed carbon. Emeralds associated with these systems command premiums when clarity and structure remain intact. Even fragments of these environments can justify serious geological investment. This is why professionals analyze peridotite carefully, not for what it shows, but for what it implies. Pro gems exist to decode these implications and translate them into understanding that outlasts surface impressions. Ironstone enters the picture next, often rusted, heavy, and dismissed as worthless industrial debris. Its surface stains clothing, tools, and hands, making it unattractive and inconvenient. Yet ironstone forms through fluid movement, oxidation, and precipitation, the same mechanisms responsible for concentrating precious metals. Gold does not float freely, it rides chemical gradients. Iron acts as a chemical trap, pulling gold out of solution and locking it into microfractures invisible without training. The discovery signal is texture and staining, not shine. Red, brown, and black oxidation halos indicate repeated fluid flow, each cycle an opportunity for gold deposition. Value accumulates quietly. Gold locked inside ironstone rarely forms nuggets. It forms veins, films, and microscopic inclusions that only become obvious after crushing, heating, or chemical separation. This is why ironstone has historically fooled surface collectors while enriching those who understood its behavior. Pricing reflects concentration, not appearance. Ironstone hosted gold systems can support entire mining operations when continuity exists. Along these same oxidized pathways, opal can form when silica-rich fluids cool rapidly, filling voids created by iron dissolution. Opal does not need beauty to form, it needs space in silica. Ironstone provides both. ProGems focuses on recognizing these relationships because value follows process, not aesthetics. Andesite follows, a volcanic rock formed from intermediate magma, dense, fine-grained, and often gray or brown. It breaks without drama, produces no sparkle, and rarely attracts attention. Yet andesite is a structural storyteller. It fractures predictably, allowing hydrothermal fluids to move upward repeatedly. These fluids carry gold, silver, and copper, depositing them as pressure drops and temperatures change. The discovery signal lies in alteration zones, subtle color changes, and mineral replacements that only trained observation can decode. 
Value emerges where fluid pathways intersect. Gold concentrates along these fractures, while silver often follows secondary pathways slightly removed from the main system. Over time, repeated pulses increase grade. Pricing depends on continuity and accessibility. Andesite-hosted systems have supported some of the most productive precious metal operations ever known. Not because the rock was beautiful, but because it was cooperative. Emerald and tourmaline can form nearby where chemistry allows, particularly where boron and chromium interact with aluminum-rich zones. Garnet appears as a pressure indicator, confirming the right conditions existed. ProGems emphasizes these systems because they reward patience and understanding rather than luck. Granite appears next, familiar, coarse, and commonly used for construction. Its visibility makes it seem ordinary, almost boring. Yet granite is the engine room of gemstone formation. Slow cooling allows large crystals to grow, and late-stage fluids rich in rare elements migrate outward, forming pegmatites. This is where emeralds, tourmaline, and high-quality quartz varieties originate. The discovery signal is grain size, zoning, and the presence of accessory minerals that indicate late-stage enrichment. Value in granite systems accumulates at the edges, not the core. Emeralds require beryllium and chromium from different sources, meeting under controlled conditions. Granite provides the beryllium, while surrounding rocks contribute chromium. When these systems align, emeralds form quietly, often hidden within unattractive host rock. Pricing reflects clarity, color, and crystal integrity, not the host stone's appearance. Granite-hosted gemstone systems also produce amethyst and other quartz varieties that gain value through size and saturation. ProGems tracks these systems because they demonstrate how ordinary-looking stone becomes the birthplace of extraordinary minerals. Finally, tough volcanic ash rock enters the sequence, compacted, welded, and resistant. It looks like hardened dirt, breaks unevenly, and offers no visual reward. Yet volcanic ash is chemically active. It absorbs fluids, alters rapidly, and creates porous networks ideal for mineral deposition. Opal forms readily in these environments when silica-rich water infiltrates and evaporates repeatedly. Gold and silver can also concentrate where ash layers act as chemical sponges. Discovery here relies on texture and stratification, not shine. Layering indicates repeated events, each one an opportunity for mineralization. Value accumulates where porosity remains intact. Opal pricing varies wildly based on play of color, stability, and thickness. But the host rock is almost always ignored by untrained eyes. Emerald and other gemstones may appear nearby where fluid chemistry shifts. ProGems highlights these rocks because they teach a critical lesson. Value prefers quiet environments where patience outlasts appearance. Across all five stones, the pattern remains consistent. Discovery begins with rejection. Value hides where effort is required. Pricing rewards understanding, not aesthetics. These stones are ignored because they do not flatter the eye, yet they host processes responsible for emeralds, gold, diamonds, opal, garnet, amethyst, tourmaline, and quartz veins that define true geological wealth. This is not coincidence. It is physics, chemistry, and time working together. Understanding these systems changes how stone is evaluated forever. It shifts focus from surface appeal to structural truth. It replaces luck with knowledge. Pro gems exist to provide that knowledge in full depth, connecting discovery to value value to pricing, and pricing to long-term understanding. If you want to continue learning how ignored stone becomes extraordinary, subscribe to Pro Gems and deepen your insight into the geology that hides value where few are willing to look.